What's up guys? Check it out. I have a transformer here. It was normally used for a step down from 480 volts to 120 for service outlets. But I'm using it the other way around. I'm stepping up 120 volts to 460 to test 460 volt equipment at home. So these are those small little VFDs out of carrier units. Three phase, but you can wire them single phase as well, which I have it wired. So I just went through changing a bunch of perimeters. So I have my run command here, which puts 24 volts to digital input one. Jumper and that should turn it on. So it's ready to go. And then I have speed reference, analog input one, using its built-in 10 volt supply. There we go, about 15 hertz. And it's spinning at 15 hertz. So I'll crank that fucker all the way up. Reference just went to 59.8 and the drive is speeding up. Percentage of set point. Hard any amps because, uh, well, no load. Now this motor has bad bearings in it. It's been quiet all afternoon, but actually now I hear it just a little bit. I know when I used to speed this up to like 120 or even above that. <laughs> Hertz, that is. This sucker used to screech, make your ears bleed. So, uh, bearing part numbers are right on here. So it's probably cost me about eight bucks to replace the bearings. Probably should, just to keep this for a test motor. So that's cool. And I did set it up as two, two directions. So let's unplug the run command. Wait for it to stop. Of course, it's hard to tell in the frame rate, but it's going clockwise. And it's not coast to stop. <laughs> it's decelerating, which means you still can't stop this if you wanted to until it fits down. Man, that deceleration is set for way high. So now we're going to connect digital input 2, which is the reverse command. There she goes. So I think supposedly this was a bad VFD, but kind of think that it's not. Probably just lost its program or something. And it didn't run with the, the carrier wiring setup that I had it on. So it at least had the program jacked up. So, so now it's mine. But it is a 460 volt, so... Using around the house, you know, even a 230 volt source can't power it. But with one of these, I sure can. So that's cool. I just have it, it's at 40 hertz. Speed up. Weird. The reference must be different for reverse and forward. Huh. For some reason. Probably another setting I'm not catching. I wonder what happens if you just slam forward on. That thing's still going to decelerate before it reverses. So now what I need to do, so now that this works, I don't know if I can do it while it's running. Menu. Upload to panel, select. Oh, start an edit. I have to stop this unit. There she goes. So it's loading all my settings to this panel. I have two more of these drives, so I should be able to just go over there and grab them. And then uh, power it up, plug that panel in, and uh, write the perimeters to the drive. Yeah. Yep, so, cool. All right, got that other one hooked up. Watch for smoke, boom. All right. Booting up. Drive not responding. <laughs> Uh-oh. This one might be totally toast. How lucky can I get? 
So, uh, yeah. So evidently there's power. I just checked this 10 volts on the coming out of the drive and all that, but and it booted this up with power, but it's not communicating to the drive. So something is wrong with the drive on this one. So probably toast. I have one more to try. All right, third time's a charm. You know what? I think this thing tripped. Oh no. It did trip. Well, that's a bad drive. Already. Okay, well. <laughs> Shouldn't have hooked everything up. So out of three drives, I have one good one. This one's bad. Doesn't communicate. This one shorts. <laughs> so. Toast. Who knows? It might be rectifier only that's bad on that. I'm able to take that one apart and. Uh, just uh, turn it into a DC bus only. Although, when am I going to work with 600 volts DC? Probably not. So, probably just chuck that one after I take it apart and see what happened to it. Anyway, with that, that was pretty cool. Oh, I do have one other 460 volt drive. I've never really got to run that one up there. Okay, I got one more. Big bad boy to test. This one here, 20 horsepower, variable frequency drive. So I just got it hooked up and some perimeter set. She's running. Missing enable. Well, you think? Some jacking with it. It's because uh, when you have an analog input and no enable, that throws a fault. Come on. I might have one setting wrong. As far as I know, I had it. Direction one is, it must uh, still have a digital input one also set as enable. What is it like? Also connected. Oh, it's gonna reverse. Nope. Fault. Do nothing. And this one drive here is good. 460 volt stuff, which I really don't have much need for. And of course, you put this voltage. DC. Five, yeah, the screw's just loose. 593, 594 volts. DC. When I have 120 volts AC. From the house powering all this apparatus. So, I think I'm done with this for the night. Anyway, that's pretty cool. Transformer like this comes in handy to uh, pretty much test, you know, 460 volt equipment. We don't have 460 volts on the site.